Come on, big boy, get in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to feel your ass move right. on me, baby. Yeah, eat lads. Right then. We're joined by Jamie, who has not thought well about the weather. I'm sat here looking like a, a oh, yeah. referee of some sort, and you, you look a bit warm, mate. Bit hot, Arky, bit hot. <laughs> and you got the, you got the, red, uh, the black leather as well. I know, you stitched me up good and proper, but... <laughs> now, Jamie has... Uh, maybe not Jamie himself, but Jamie's car, or van, shall I say, behind us, has been in the limelight of some controversy, controversy in the past year or so. So I thought we'd bring him in and do two little things. Now usually I didn't really want to do a full brutally honest review on this, uh, but then again I didn't want to go down the full other line, which you'll see in a minute, of thinking looking like we're bitter bastards when we're really not. We're going to sit down with Jamie. We're going to do something I don't really do quite often. We're going to do some sort of like an interview, for, an interview style sort of video, and then we're going to jump into like a little review at the end because this is a, well I reckon what it's the UK's most famous caddy, would you say? Maybe. maybe. She's up there, isn't maybe she? She's up there for a Maybe last decorate. year it was the UK's most famous caddy. Now, if you are if you are worrying, this is the caddy that got written off written off by a certain somebody at a certain hey, car show. You, you no worries, bro. Uh, and we've got to bring you in, mate, because I heard it all over the internet and I heard loads of different stories. And this isn't a video to slate this person. This is just because you've gone through quite a big transformation with this and I'm guessing it was quite a stressful time. Oh, it was kicking the spuds to say yeah, the least. I can imagine. And you've turned it, you've turned such a negative outcome into something so positive. Yeah. Which it. is why I want to do this video to promote, at the minute the car scene is very negative and, and you took a very professional approach about it and just kept quiet and just made something better out of a bad situation which is amazing. Nice. So I'm trying to promote, you know, yeah, that's what we did. It's people like you in the car seat. So obviously, oh, yes. we're, we're, we're going to go through. We're going to do a little bit of an interview. We're going to sit down here, talk to him, and then we're going to do the review. We want to go through the way started off, lead up to VW Fest, what actually happened yeah. from your point of view, because I've heard so many different stories. I can imagine. Uh, and then, obviously, what you did after that, how you got to this, and then we'll jump into the car review. So, you talk to me, mate. I've looked through your Instagram a little bit, and I've seen that you had because I didn't know about this. I didn't even. No, know, I didn't it. know Xavier at the time. I didn't know. You don't, I didn't know anything about this. <laughs> <laughs> you do now. We do now, though, don't we? We do now. So tell me, tell me what you started off. Did you start off with a caddy at first? Tell me about that one. Basically, went and bought a caddy. I cheated. It were already painted Lido green. Did my own little twist on it. Put the vinyls on. Did the interior. Did all the back out. Literally had it three and a half, maybe four months at a push. Took it to the Dunfest thinking, yes, I'm yeah. camping in this okay. tonight. It's the juicy bit. <laughs> yeah. Mid mid getting changed like this, that's when I saw the red mist coming for me. And yeah. So you was in the back of the van? Back of was the van. Was it at night? Was it was it in the camping? I think or? it was about half six at campsite. We were getting ready to go to the little party tank, I was getting changed, like I say. As I turned to the side, I just seen it blammered. But ten minutes previous to that, I've seen it go past us, so that's it to do it quite so cross lights. What was going past you? Audi, the red, the red mist, I call it. Oh, right, okay, so that's what yeah. it was a red so, Audi. Okay. Red Audi, bombing up and down thingy. So campsite. what it was, bombing up and down the campsite? Yeah, so it's caught a lot of people's eyes at this point. Yeah. You know, disgruntled parents of the campers going, you're going to bin it, stop driving like a dick. And we even said it as sense, he's going to bin it in a minute. Yeah. And lo and behold, I was the unlucky fucker with a non-finance whip with a car that actually had to go to work Monday morning. We weren't yeah. lined up and yeah. Got so you was in the back of the car, yeah. taking your top off. Oh, yeah. I was doing the and naked butler look, you know, the, and, yeah, no. and then and then someone was, what did it just run into the side of you? Front got front right corner. Front right corner. Hit it that hard, there were barbecue uh, I'd say far foot behind us, you know them caligas gas bottles. Right. It, uh, that impact, the fucking band drove onto it, onto exhaust and into my yeah. mate's golf, so and this were up here landing ring here. So did anybody see it actually happen? A few, fair few people. Right, okay, so, okay, so let, let's run for it. So you got hit, you were taking top off. Yep. What you did you did? you run outside? Like, what yeah. the fuck? Like you do. Okay. Climbed across my mate's windscreen, grabbed the geezer out at the passenger side. He had a bit of the old party powder around his boat race. Right. I'm, I'm comical, man. I'm like, mate, you're covered in cheng. And he's like, and he's like, I'm fucking not. And I'm like, so, so, he big... ended up bolting off and it was like, and he ran off. The passenger did. So I've took like 10 steps back oh, now. Oh, so Zayn was actually driving. They were on another guy's lap. Oh, oh, so there was two guys in the car? Yeah, yeah, they're having a bit of a party. 
Right, okay. I'm game for a party, serious. but there's a time and a place for that kind of party. Right. You yeah. know, in a campsite with kids. So you got out the car and what did you did you did you see a guy driving and Xavier on her knee? Did you no, see No, this is the weird thing. I've seen them hit us. Yeah. Grinning like fuck, like laughing, and I'm like, you're shitting me, you're shitting me. I've gone over my seats. By the time I've jumped out, obviously you've just seen red, not the red out, but you've seen yeah. red. Jumped out, grabbed this gadget, but somebody's already grabbed the other geezer. Right. I've just, it's not even comprehended that we're last there or out. I've seen her, hit right. it, and then she's disappeared. Like right. Scotch mist. So then it all just erupted. People were just coming and coming. So like I said, I took 10 steps back, looked at the carnage and thought, that's me not fucking going to work one day then. <laughs> so because I heard lot, I've heard loads of different stories. I've heard that she wasn't driving at all. Mm. I've heard that she's threatened someone with a knife. Oh, well, that, I'll, I'll give it that. I, I, she, yeah, she no, that. Yeah. But there were a lot of Chinese whispers at the time. And yeah, we set imagine. a few straight and like there were a lot of memes. And we weren't sharing the memes and nothing. We'd stayed in Switzerland all the way, you know, like neutral. We were like, it had to be done because we're not bitches and a little yeah. bit older. And I've never heard of the last up until that day. Yeah. But what fucked us off when Sunday Marge come down with? I seen it while I was washing my cup out over there and I'm like Oh she's trying to totally change the story. Says, so well, you seen her driving on, on that Well yeah, she would definitely on it. She would definitely. So right. but then with the stabby thing that were these other lads getting involved going, you best give us keys back and this and that and we're like, we haven't got no keys for no Audi. Why why would we take the keys, mate? I'm not going anywhere, am I? Mm. So it kind of escalated, a lot of crowds appeared, a lot of shouting carrying on and I would just obviously stood in the middle of me and my So what day, what day was this on the weekend that this happened? This was Saturday night. Saturday, so did you stay there through the Sunday? Oh, I slept in it as it lies, <laughs> mate, on, okay. on barbecue, on could pits. You, did, could, <laughs> could you drive it home? Or? No, it was haggard, but me being the Ronka Prompt winner, just fucking drove it up to Shawfield Sunday morning right. just to drop jars and everywhere. And did you drive it home? Did you oh, no, it had to get low loaded right, out of there okay. and we drove Beetle on the little woody. Okay, so then that all, that all happens. When you get home, did you, what What was your like process? Did you try and ring the insurance company? Did you ever do anything like that? Or did you just not even bother oh, to go straight On the into? Sunday, straight away on Sunday morning at showground, I'm like, yo, my car's been right off, I need to pick you up. So it got low loaded, and I said, you're gonna have to wait till the show, it's on the show and shine stand. <laughs> so you took it on show and shine? Oh, mate, I did it. I, I bet it got a lot of uh, yeah, attention. Yeah, a lot of little like that, attention. Left little touch up put in front of it. Because the thing that I respected you about it is that you have never, opened up about it have you never yeah. said anything a year on you just cracked on and you've cracked not really, on. You, when, when you could have done so oh much. we could have been the bitchy ones and yeah. it, but and it's and it's quite okay. ironic because the other party is like that yeah you know so you know you, oh, that's you, it. you, you, you even you could have fight you know, fire fight fire with fire yeah, or just but, take know. the moral high ground mm. and think you know what i'm gonna build something that's gonna piss all over your finance fucking rocker <laughs> so it had to be done but no, it's sick. I, it actually pound when for i pulled up i was like holy shit, that's cool like that's obviously cool. you see things on instagram yeah, and when you see it in person like holy fuck. After, the, after the first decision you make to rebuild it what's the first thing you do got the uh called them up says what's going on with this then and, who, uh, who did you call up insurance oh right, okay so they took it off next thing i knew two days later some fuck had seen it on back of a recovery truck going to car park right so i'm like shit that's my van off to get murdered for parts now so i'm like on the phone i need my van back also oh, they were going to pay you out yeah pay me out and take my van okay but you didn't asking. want that no i wanted the parts i knew that for what I could have physically bought the van back, but I wasn't going and getting any of them bits for that kind of money. And so now, you declined the payout? Declined the payout. Kept the van? Kept the van. Bought a new van? Bought a new van. Now, uh, what colour? Obviously, I've seen it was like Harlequin at one point, wasn't it? Yeah, the, that would have uh, uh, rebuild. So basically, I had to decline the full six and a half grand payout and then buy the back, van back for a grand and a half and took 5,000 So you have to buy it back off them, yep. even though it's your own van? Yep, I've got the five grand and the fucked up van on my drive. So, next thing we we'll go buy another van, which is far and wide for one with the old uh, so, sunroof. Right, oh, oh, so, oh, it's right, not yeah. a sunroof, it's plastic. I've, I've never seen one like that. That's it, rare as rocking our shit, so I thought, y'all can be done with me, mate. So, so you um, bought that, took it home, and then you started changing the parts over? Yeah. So we, all the salvageable parts off your old van you took transformed? Them, and it's because I couldn't have people giving me props off for building this other van, which I never actually built. Yeah, I finished it, signed it, it did all interior, mm. made it look a bit more prettier and that a bit lower. But end of the day, it won all my work, so mm. I felt. Bit... Yeah. So is is this is it on bags or is it static? Static. So it is static. Oh yes. <laughs> all the way, brother. I rinsed what I could. Seats, seat surgeons got out of me, and they says, "Oh, we'll do your seats at cost because a certain somebody would give them a bit of 
slather about their seats and I thought, oh. I really do like the okay. colour of them seats, but mm. I don't like the red. Give me green with it, kids. So after a couple of months, they got reformed, redid, and the golf GTI might buy it in the can. Right, before we actually go and get onto the car, yeah. what engine is in this? Oh, it's still 1.9 Derv. Right, so is it but with six speed box it, GTI drive shaft hubs, brakes, mapped it, EGR blank, cat big, mapped it at Pro B maps. It's had a fair old tickle done, so it just put me on until we get the TFSI lump. Mm. So it's sort of TFSI proof. So you yeah. do it the right way, you've got everything ready then. Yeah, you? When, that's when it. one pops up, you're going to buy it. Yep, that's, that's, that's the one, one dude. Well, let's take a look around the car. Cause I'm intrigued as well. Yeah, I've never, yeah, never looked into it. <laughs> Right. Well, Mum rung me in November, fucking apologising on her behalf. Really? Yeah. Almost in tears, saying that me and the dad are fucking ashamed of what she's been right. up to and stuff. I yeah, felt bad for her. I mean, I personally, because obviously I spent a lot of time with her, I personally seen some of the messages she was getting, and nobody yeah. deserved that. Nah. No matter, no matter what, I, I, what mistake what I mean, you've but made. What I were like, were, bro, that's what calm it with people, because yeah. the fucking comes across like we've but got you, a load of it. You went out of your way to initiate a peace treaty, yeah. and she just tied you off. Yeah, didn't? tied me off, and then my daughter, if she wants fucking control with mm. social media. Yeah. And then so. it were a mother who apologised on her behalf, and, and mm. I felt really bad for my mum. Yeah. We're all there for the same reason, to go yeah. and fucking admire each other's cars and just waste of money. Mm. In other people's eyes, but it ain't a waste of money, is it? No, man, Remember it? Fuck about. <laughs> Fucking right, so before I take the car for a drive and do a little bit of a brutally honest review, we're going to get Jamie to take us around the car. So, what's the crack with the wheels, Jamie? <laughs> Just sheer shits and giggles, brother. Just for the banter, yeah? Just for the banter. I'm a comical guy and I thought, fuck it, it's that full zero fucks given look, isn't it? <laughs> it looks good, actually. It looks really good. So, what colour is Is this the exact same no, paint code? I didn't like the old... Uh, Man, we're going for Manila, so it's filler in Manila this time. So, is that a custom paint or is it actually from, is it a manufacturer's? It's an 70s V-dub colour. Oh, right, okay. So we've mixed it up, we've done a little twist on it and how it's backed on them, so. It's a, it is Manila green, but it could ever it's be. It's beautiful colour. Uh, and, and is that your decorating business, is it? Yep. This right, is okay. It's a high roller. So everyone like slated it back in there saying, oh, you, what, you think you're going to go paint your rooms called high roller decorators in a lowered car? <laughs> Fucking went and did it, didn't I? Yeah. Roller Mark One. It's gone and took the brunt of it here, caved that in, and then the back left corner went into my mate's car, caved two of his doors in, what are all flushed on a Mark Four wagon, with the custom painted in like a toffee brown. So, yeah, it took an hiding, but while we were building it, I've ordered about two or three different rear bumpers and you might have seen on Instagram we were chopping out slam bars and all sorts. I have looked at your Instagram, it looks like a very lengthy process. Oh, so obviously yeah. go and have a look at his Instagram and he's, he's basically documented his whole the whole build, which was... Yeah, I, I spent a good hour looking for it all, you know. Okay. No, not in research of the videos, because I was interested in it, just aged for. But yeah, it's very good that you've documented everything like that. These are Golf Mark 5 GTI, three skinned and reformed. So the Sikh surgeons were kind enough to do us a little deal here. Right, let's take it for a spin then, shall we? Go for it, brother. <laughs> and the one thing which is very annoying, I've just tried doing a, uh, I, I've just tried turning around. Nothing for this, but there's no back windows. You can't see, you can't reverse into anywhere because you can't fucking see where you're going. Bloody hell. <laughs> This is a lot harder to drive than I thought it would be. Like a lot harder to drive. <laughs> the gearbox is really notchy, really stiff. The clutch is really heavy. And I can't see shit unless it's in front of me or directly behind me. Obviously, you know, a lot of you will know I spent a lot of time with Xavier at one point. Uh, and I don't want this video to be totally slating her and against her. So, you know, I do have respect for the girl somewhere. Even after all the... <laughs> questionable stuff she did to me but this was a big part of you know our whole time together like this caddy you know so it's nice to finally meet the guy behind it and drive the car behind it you know it's, uh, it's been a big talking point of the whole UK car scene the talk the talk and then the not much horsepower <laughs> no this is his work van and 
what a guy, what, what a van, what a cool car. Just totally against the mainstream sort of car scene nowadays. And I absolutely love that. Hats off to him. Such a humble guy. Woo! Everyone looks at this thing. <laughs> so obviously, you know, it's not a performance car. So there's not really much I can talk about the driving aspect of it. So we're going to take it back to Jamie now, give him back his pride and joy. Hey, uh, this is a car who's someone who has spent lots of blood, sweat, and tears on. Like, this is the real deal. So I'm going to go give him back his baby. I hope you enjoy this video, guys. Um, and I hope, I hope you take the good message from it is that this is not in a negative way. I just wanted to give Jamie some, uh, some praise for what he's done. Uh, and hopefully with my platform, I can do that. So go over and follow, uh, give Jamie a follow. Um, obviously he runs his own business with uh, decorating as well. So, you know, if you want to meet, meet the guy, meet the caddy, uh, and also get some work done in your house. I didn't, I didn't, is that decorate? Is it just in his house? Not 100% sure. <laughs> but yeah, go to his Instagram, give him a message. He's a lovely guy and he's been uh, really up for this as well. So thanks for watching guys. Thank you, Jamie, for doing this video as well. And thank you, LK Performance, for setting this up. I love you all, and we'll see you next time.